Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and we've just passed the first quarter of 2016. And has there ever been some amazing music released already? Uh, it would be hard just to create a list of some of the best albums of 2016 just with the music that's already out there. No matter, we have three more quarters of 2016 and a lot of great uh, releases to come. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, sort of go over some of the albums that have been released and uh, just to make you aware of some if you haven't uh, checked some of them out and maybe some of the surprises and some of the real good uh, albums that I've been listening to uh, since the beginning of the year. What I usually do is I probably spend about a thousand bucks every year on iTunes and I pick up the songs as they come out and I basically buy the singles uh, each time they're released and start listening to the albums. I create a playlist, best albums of 2016, and I throw basically all the new music in there and start listening to it uh, until the end of the year and uh, then choose uh, the, the albums that, that we feel are some of the best uh, it, from our perspective in uh, 2016. So some of the albums that have been released this year are Anthrax, For All Kings. Anthrax has done it again. They put out another great album um, and it's uh, a really great all around. So you can check that one out. Uh, Dream Theater, the astonishing double album concept uh, that has so much music on it. So diverse, uh, great. There's just amazing guitar playing on this. Uh, I think Petrucci has put, uh, you know, it's not all super fast, but the uh, very, very tasteful and great melodies on guitar that just really stand out. Uh, that's a great album. Um, a, a heavier one is Ex Mortis, Ride Forth. I love Ex Mortis. If you ever get a chance to see these guys live, man, they put on a killer live show. Their new album is really good. We have Megadeth Dystopia with Chris Adler drumming. And uh, we got Kiko Larrero on guitar, so this is the new lineup. Megadeth just uh, clobbered their last album, Super Collider, with this one and just put out an amazing album with Dystopia. Um, so they're sort of back into the fold again, so great for Megadeth. Uh, Primal Fear, Rule Breaker is out. They put out a good album. Uh, Flesh God Apocalypse, King is out. Uh, man, there's so much neat stuff on a, a Flesh God Apocalypse uh, album with the they have piano and they have violins they got some um, female vocals a whole bunch of different stuff they're they're a very cool band to see live as well so check out that um, Exumer that is one of my uh, sort of surprises of the year I just love the new Exumer album uh, that one is called the Raging Tides so check that one out that's one of my surprises um, Holy Grail I have a new one out called uh, Times of Pride and Peril uh, Holy Grail never disappoint they always put out some good stuff a uh, Metal Church, man, they are back with uh, 11, Metal Church 11 and Mike Howe is back on vocals and they're, man, they just write killer riffs. Vanderhoof is just so great at writing uh, guitar riffs. Uh, so that's a really great album that just came out. Um, Mel Run, they have an album out, uh, a new EP, which is really cool. So you can check that out. Uh, Brainstorm, they have a new one out called Scary Creatures. Uh, Brainstorm, they're always a hard-hitting band. They kind of sometimes remind me a bit of Judas Priest in the old school, sort of uh, real, just sort of heavy metal. Um, Avantasia has a new one out, and it's got a lot of guest vocals on it. Uh, Michael Kiske, he's always great. Uh, he used to sing for Halloween and sings for a bunch of different bands. Uh, he did a, an album with Amanda Summer, uh, Somerville last year, which was really good. But you can check out the new Avantasia. That's got a whole bunch of different types of music on it. Uh, American Head Charge. They have a nice heavy album out called Tango Umbrella. Uh, love these guys, man. They just are just super heavy and uh, write really great songs and really interesting song structures. It's always interesting. Kill Switch Engage have a new album out. And man, these guys, uh, the, the, the vocals are just absolutely amazing. Uh, I love Kill Switch Engage. I'm sure that they'll be up in the uh, top albums of the year near the end because they, they always put out some really great stuff and great vocal melodies and things like that. So that's a, that's a great one. Uh, the Algorithm, they have a, uh, an album out called Brute Force. Now, you, if you haven't checked out The Algorithm, they're kind of like, uh, it's all instrumental, but they, they do like uh, really heavy computer-generated music, and uh, they have lots of different beats, uh, lots of kind of synth, and um, a lot of gent sort of guitar all mixed together. So it's kind of interesting if you want to kind of broaden your musical spectrum a bit, check out The Algorithm, Brute Force. Um, and Evolution, they have an album out, uh, an EP out right now, and which is uh, amazing, and they're kind of the same style. They have kind of like a electronic metal music sound where they have electronics and metal together, so Evolution Life, that EP is out. Uh, Prong has a new one called 10 or X, uh, No Absolutes. 
Um, another great album from Prong. Uh, they always put out solid stuff. Uh, you can, the riffs, I just, I love the Prong riffs, man. They're so catchy all the time and they've done it again. Uh, Bombas. This album is probably my the biggest surprise. It's called Repeat Until Death. And man, this album has sort of made the biggest impact on me this year uh, so far because it was it was a surprise for me to. But I'll tell you, it's it's an amazing album. It, it kind of reminds me of like Priestess mixed with Mastodon, um, and you can hear a little bit of type of almost like a Rob Zombie vocal. Sometimes I hear some phrases from Rob Zombie, but oh man, I just check out uh, uh, Bombas uh, that album Repeat Until Death. That is if you're gonna check one out of this list. Uh, I'll put the list in the description of the video, but check that out. That's an amazing, amazing album. Loved it. Sinbreed have a new album out. Uh, it's called Master Creator. Uh, After the Burial, Dig Deep is out. Uh, that's a nice comeback album for those guys with the, After the Tragedy. And uh, Isan, he's got a new one coming out called Arctis. See, there's three tracks that have been streaming and it looks like it is really revved up to be a great album. He was the uh, former well, vocalist of Emperor. I don't know if Emperor is going to continue on at all, but I'll tell you, so far the three songs that uh, Isan has put out, they're all different. They're all amazing. Uh, I think this is going to be a real el uh, good album near the end of the year. Uh, Artillery, Penalty by Perception is great. Uh, that's one of my surprises as well. Uh, just listen to that over and over, the new Artillery. And Destroyer 666, oh cow, I love this album. Uh, you gotta check out Destroyer 666, it's just crazy. It's called Wildfire, um, just can't get enough of that one. And the Deftones, they have a new one coming out called Gore. There's one song I believe right now, Prayers and Triangles, I think that's out. Uh, so that's going to be sort of an anticipated album. Um, then there's uh, Headspace. Uh, they have a Headspace is an interesting band. It's called All That You Fear Is Gone. The way I found out Headspace is uh, they were playing it before the Black Sabbath concert. I don't know if they paid them or or they have someone in the band that was touring with Sabbath, but they played it at the sort of in between in the uh, beginning of Black Sabbath as they were setting up the stage in that, and it really caught me. It's it reminds me of Old Yes, and I think Rick Wakeman's. Um, the keyboardist who was in Yes, his uh, son, I believe, is in the band, and the vocalist sounds like Yes. So if you want a kind of a modern day Yes type feel, uh, check out the band Headspace, and uh, they almost sound like Yes, sort of mixed with like a Tesseract type uh, musical sound. Um, Walls of Jericho, they just released a new album, Man Is It Ever Heavy, No One Can Save You From Yourself. Definitely check out the new Walls of Jericho, it's just like, if you like circle pits and circle pit music and heaviness, uh, it's uh, crazy, they must have just a crazy live show. Hopefully they hit Vancouver, Canada, Walls of Jericho, come over to Vancouver so we can check you out, but that would be amazing. Uh, Tremonte has something coming out, there's two songs that are released, uh, he's, he's got great vocals, uh, so that's sort of anticipating coming out. Uh, Amon Amarth, Yom's Viking, oh, they just hit a home run on this. Um, the new Amon Amarth is amazing. Uh, I can't wait to see them live. I just bought tickets. I, I was reviewing that album, and after I listened to that album, I just went and bought tickets for the concert because it was just, I can't wait to hear this stuff live. It's just going to be crazy. And uh, Fallujah, they have a new one out uh, coming out called Dreamless. There's a couple of songs on iTunes now. You can check them out. Um, kind of proggy, um, you know, real metal uh, proggy. They a little bit proggy or sounding on this album, I think, anyways. They have a female vocals on one of the uh, tracks that they released, but I really like the new Fallujah. I think they're really expanding their sound. And Catatonia, they just released the first new track off their new album. The album is called The Fall of Hearts. So uh, get ready for that. And one more, Death Angel. They just released a new song called The Moth. Death Angel is one of my favorite bands. I like, uh, sort of grew up with Iron Maiden, Metallica, Judas Priest, and uh, Black Sabbath, and Death Angel. They fit right in there as one, some of my top influential bands because they just kick ass all the time and they have such diverse music. These guys... They seem to be getting older but younger. I just, they're playing faster stuff now than they did when they were in their 20s. I mean, they played some real fast stuff, but I mean, they have not lost any momentum. Death Angel's gaining momentum. I just can't wait for the new Death Angel album. It's called uh, The Moth is a new uh, a single as well. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News. Let me know some of the albums I didn't mention that are your favorites and some of the ones maybe I did that you're really listening to. Thanks for tuning in.